Ladies and gentlemen, it is the next day. I am going on a flea market and goodwill journey. Ooh, and there's a the little dog. Where's the dog? Ooh. Anyway, yeah, we're gonna have some fun. It is 35 degrees outside. I'm gonna need to get a coat soon. Shout out to whoever's gonna end up selling me a coat. We have arrived at a podunk goodwill. Knickknack, paddywhack, give a dog a bone. Yeah, this is kind of a small store, so I don't know if I'm gonna record like as I'm finding stuff, but I've already found like this jacket. Bro, this is gonna be a good store. Number one grandfather, the boss. It's kind of sick. Guys, we have the first cop, the new with tags, plaid, stripe, stitched, new with tags. Random price of $6.29. Bruh. Ooh, the floral magic. Gosh, I don't know about getting these for the winter time, but I'm getting so much freaking stuff. <laughs> this is nuts. Oh, do I spy a rusty Wallace pillow? Yo. Rusty, rusty. How much is this? Two bucks? I think I might have to cop you, sir. First up on the pass list is the bootleg Nautica competition with that Gildan tag, baby. Look at that. We've got the stitched Michigan Wolverines Lee Sport. Passing on because we got a bunch of other items. You're gonna notice that some of the stuff like, oh, why didn't you get that? Because I'm getting a lot of stuff so let's get to it we got michigan passing on that guy this is a vintage nebraska shirt nebraska never really did well but it's a pro player sick okay i'm getting another really sick notre dame piece as you saw earlier so that's why i'm passing on this guy uh they want like five bucks for it so i think it's kind of a cool sweater i thought about this one the london i don't know i love the colorway but uh Location stuff doesn't really work well for me. This one I've thought really like a long time on. The embroidery stitched golf t-shirt. Pun. Next up we got the simple and elegant Indians. It's a little too simple for my taste right now. So we got the Russell Athletic rib tag. So that's kind of cool. Next up we got the stitched embroidery kind of current Michigan jersey. They wanted a lot for this, so passing on this guy, but stitched jersey nonetheless. Last but not least, this one was probably the hardest to pass on, but uh, really cool design. It's going to be winter soon. I am getting one of these, but I just really love the design of the other one, so I'm passing on this guy. All right, folks, let's get to the cop list. We've got this crazy windbreaker, the tricolor quattro, if you count the black. Look at the back, kind of looking like a pumpkin a little bit. This is the uh, button up I was talking about. Look at this. They're on a jet ski? Okay. This was sick. Look at all the jet ski city. So nice, so I have to get this guy. Obviously the new with tags, vintage Notre Dame sweater. Golly, man, this is sick. Gotta get that guy. This is half off. So it's like $3.50 women's kind of denim jacket so i have to get this so cool i think i think i think i think this is a vintage blues brothers shirt which would be sick if it is um the tag kind of is somewhat questionable but um it's blues brothers stuff i feel like this is still gonna do well regardless it's got the back these are like quotes from the movie so sick then we have this striped tommy hill figure Bruh, nothing wrong with it. Stripes for days. This is the last piece, the 2002 plain bomber American shirt. Have to get this guy. Pretty cheap too. And then um, I'm getting the Rusty Wallace pillow. Getting the Rusty piece. And I'm getting this Dodgers shirt from 2000 because my buddy Alex is going to buy this. So. Man, we are cashing out. Just like that, two gigantic bags full of stuff. Expensive, won't lie, but every single item making money. So good. That was, that was one of my favorite stores in a long time. Shout out Toledo, okay.
we're here at Budget Man's Bargains. Here in here, I'll show you the sign. There you go. Budget Man Bargains. Let's see if they got any stuff. Dude, what? This is full of these Dale Earnhardt jackets. They want like 30 bucks for them. Oh, try not to break the store. Oh my god, is that poetic justice? Screen print shirt. Not vintage, but sick. The dedication. Look at this, like, there's so much, like, just, you wouldn't even see this, right? Oh, dude, there might actually be another one over here. I'm gonna show you this hat down here, but, dude, the vintage Red Wings? Whoa. Dude, I'm gonna have to get this, but dude, check this out. This was, like, buried just in here. The freaking vintage Bulls hat. I'm gonna have to look at this. Holy ball sack. Dude, what? All right, so here's the deal. The guy wouldn't sell me the items because they were tucked away in storage. Oh, all right. Another problem I'm running into is the financial part, and that is that I don't have cash on me and there's not like my branch's ATM anywhere. And it's the items, if they're not worth like me going to pay fees and get money, it's, just, it's not really a good point. So not only was I not able to get the items, Now we're at this place called Stormin' Norman Flea Market. Let's see if they got any stuff. Guys, look what I just found. Freaking hat rack, Chicago Bulls, 10 bucks. What the flip? Okay, so I'm not gonna be able to show you this until I leave the store, but this lady just got these two, oh my God, double-sided all over print 90s freaking racing shirts and I got them for nine dollars each I think she literally just bought them and then oh, dude I'm so freaking pumped for these okay so I'm not sure how much these are gonna actually be but I just wanted to show you cuz that there's no tag on these and it might be closed the dude who runs this but the four time Chicago NBA champs look at this MC Escher that's the way I'm wrong this comes with pants look at that that's sick and then this freaking Sweater is so sick. So I'm gonna see how much they are or if they're even yeah. for sale. And the results are in. Did Ryan get all three? Did he get none? Did he get one? Did he get two? He got two. I got the Coogee sweater, five dollars. I got the Bulls pullover, five dollars. I didn't get the jacket because they wanted like 15 bucks for it. Keep with pants, I didn't want the pants. But baby, flea market, wow. Ladies and gentlemen, these are the two wonderful pieces that I got for $9 each. The first up, the all over print Dale Earnhardt shirt. This is freaking nuts, nine bucks. And then we have the reeling with the wind Dale Earnhardt shirt. Another one, fishing Bass Pro Shops. This is so sick. Let's check out the backs. And here are the backs. The strategy to win Dale Earnhardt this is sick this is from 1996 just saw there's a year down at the bottom here that's usually how you can tell what year it is but for nine bucks each and gonna be selling them for 30 sheesh 